Amines are considered as derivatives of ammonia in which one or more hydrogen atoms are replaced with alkyl or aromatic groups. The number of alkyl groups attached to the nitrogen atom determines the classification of primary, secondary or tertiary amines. For the first part of this lab, we check the solubility, pH and neutralization of amines with acid. Let us see how does it work. First check the solubility of amines with water. For that, I am taking 5 drops of each amines. I am using aniline, N-methylamine and triethylamine. You can see aniline and trimethyl. After checking the solubility, use the same solution to determine the pH of each solution. Dip a stirring rod in each amine solution and then touch it to pH paper. Record the pH values. The pH values ranges from 8 to 12. I added 15 drops of 10% HCl to this amine solution in order to make it acidic. Blue litmus paper change to red. This is the neutralization reaction of amines with acids. Because amines are basic, they react with acids to form the amine salt. These amine salts are much more soluble in water than the corresponding amines. Next we check the solubility of amides. I have acetamide and benzamide. So usually the liquid amines have the characteristic fishy order. The amides doesn't have that peculiar order. So in order to check the solubility, uh, transfer a small portion of acetamide and benzamide to a test tube and add 2 ml of water. You can see acetamide is a soluble, benzamide is not soluble in water because of the large carbon ring. We have 10% HCl for acid hydrolysis and a 10% NaOH solution for base hydrolysis. So I have two sets of uh, tubes. These are acetamide and benzamide in water. So acid hydrolysis produces the carboxylic acid and ammonium salt. In base, the hydrolysis reaction produces the salt of the carboxylic acid and ammonia. The order of ammonia and the reaction of ammonia with the litmus paper are used to detect the hydrolysis reactions. So now we add 2 ml of 10% HCl to one set.
and this set we use 10% NaOH solution for base hydrolysis. Now these two sets we had to transfer to a boiling water bath to initiate the hydrolysis reaction. So make sure you label the tubes properly before putting the water bath and wait for 5 minutes. Wet red litmus paper with a deionized water and we had to place it on top of these tubes. in the water bath. Now you can see the red litmus paper changing to blue in the base hydrolysis reaction due to the release of ammonia gas. And it is different from acid hydrolysis. You can write down the reaction equations for both acid hydrolysis and base hydrolysis of amides.